Secondary College. My name is Carolyn Toniolo and along with the team at CDSC, it's our role to ensure your child has the best possible transition into Secondary College. We're going to take you on a tour of the school. It's a chance to learn a little bit more about what Year 7 looks like and a chance to meet some of our leadership team. Let's begin with a few words from our Principal, Mr Mark Cowan. Welcome to Caram Down Secondary College Year 7 Information Night. My name is Mark Gowan, I'm the principal here at Caram Down Secondary College. We look forward to our 2021 Year 7 students joining us and becoming part of our school community. We genuinely care about every student and as part of supporting students when you begin at our college, you'll be allocated to one of our four houses. Our houses look after our students' academic, social and emotional needs and provide strong connections to the college. They also ensure that we build strong connections with not only our students, but with our parents, carers and families as well. If you need information or require support, your house is your first port of call. At Caram Down Secondary College, we have a strong focus on student learning, as all schools do. This is reflected in our flexible groupings for Year 7 English and Maths. Students are grouped according to their learning needs so that we can target the teaching accordingly and ensure our students are receiving the support they require. This program extends into year eight and nine and forms a strong foundation for students of all ability levels as they transition through our college into our senior school. You'll be provided with many opportunities and experiences at our college, covering the many interests that we know our students have. You'll also have the opportunity to engage in our leadership program as you move through the college. This program ensures we have a strong student voice across our college. I look forward to our future Year 7 students coming into our college and to building strong partnerships with our new families. Thank you. Hello, my name is Andrea Ross and I am the Anzac House Leader. Here in Anzac, we are also known as Yellow House and we have a team of four people consisting of two assistant house leaders, Mr. Simon Harry and Mr. Ivan Oakes, and our house support officer is Mrs. Meg Campbell. So the house system is also considered a vertical structure, and that means that when you are assigned a house at the start of year seven, you remain in that house throughout your school years, right up until you uh, finish year 12. So the house is essentially a one-stop shop. So we are here to assist you with any of your needs, to support you in any way that we can. We address all concerns, we manage behavior, and we of course celebrate your successes with you. So, if you have any issues throughout the day, um, over the school holidays, after school or whatnot, you can always come to the house to ask for support and seek advice and we'll be able to either sort you out or direct you to where you need to go. Hi, I'm Laura Walker, Head of Hollows House, otherwise known as Blue House. I'd like to start off with introducing the other Hollows members. We've got Miss B.G. Pillay and Mr. Jeremy Mestroff, who are our other two assistant house leaders, as well as Ms. Jo Rasuggan, who is our house support leader. I'm going to talk to you about our House Cup competition. So in 2020, Caram Downs implemented its first ever House Cup competition. The House Cup has been designed to improve student and staff belonging to their house as well as the whole school. All students are eligible to win points throughout the year. The competition aims to allow both students and staff to express passion and pride through participation, support and encouragement. The House Cup acknowledges and celebrates the positive contributions students make to the school in a range of extracurricular activities that they are involved in. The activities span across all different learning areas at the college, as well as external community activities. 
Other ways students can get involved um, and some activities that we've actually undertaken this year have been things like our sports competitions, short story competition, maths competition, photography competition, chess competition. The house has held many different quizzes throughout the year. Another way students can earn themselves points uh, is through STARS, and this is through our acknowledgement system for students. So when students are demonstrating um, one of the three values, respect, integrity, or effort, they can earn themselves a STAR. These are just some of the many, many ways that students can earn themselves house points um, throughout the year. Hi there everyone, my name is Miss Vanessa Lackick. I am the house leader of Flynn House or Green House. I'll introduce you to the team down in Flynn. So alongside myself, we have two assistant house leaders, Miss Jenny Drummond and Miss Sade Bennett. We also have our house support officer, Miss Louise Burley. So if your child is placed in the wonderful Flynn House, uh, we are the friendly faces with who you and your child will be interacting with throughout their time at Caram Down Secondary. I'm going to brief you on the college's attendance policy. So we require each and every student at the college to maintain a 95% attendance policy. We know that student outcomes are better for those students who are at school consistently, both learning and social outcomes. And so it is a strong priority of the house leadership teams to be consistently monitoring attendance. Um, as a result of that, if your child is going to be absent, um, it is imperative that you make contact with the college on that day to let us know the reason for their absence. You can do so in a number of ways. You can call through to the house leadership team of your child and you'll likely get through to the house support officer. You can also alternatively do so by email. Um, and lastly, our Compass system also allows parents to go in and uh, make attendance notes on their child's record where you can just type in the reason for your child's absence on the day. If your child is absent for consecutive days and we haven't heard from a parent or guardian, we will seek to make contact with you from the house leadership team. Um, in addition to that, uh, we also have an SMS system. So at 9.50 each morning, if your child has been marked absent on the period one roll, you will receive a text message. The text message asks you to make contact with the college, just letting us know of the reason for your child's absence on the day. School day starts at 8.50, so the period one bell goes at 8.50. We have music that plays from 8.45, which gives students a five-minute buffer to let them know that they need to head to their lockers, grab their stuff, and get ready for the day. Uh, we tend to find that students normally start arriving to school anywhere from around 8.30 or earlier if necessary. That 15 minutes just gives them the time to settle in, say hi to their friends, and get ready to be in class on time. If your child is late, so if they aren't in class by the 8.50 bell, our roles are marked quite quickly and so they will be required to sign in at the house office. If you know that your child is going to be late on the day, it would be fantastic if you could make contact with the house office or the house leadership team, just letting them know that the student will be late. Uh, you can do so by phone or email. Additionally, you could send them with a handwritten note if that's also easier. They will still need to sign in at the house office, even if you have made contact with us, just so that we can rectify the roles and make sure they're marked present for the remainder of the day. Hi, I'm Naomi Watson, the current house leader for Gilmore House, our red house here at the college. I will introduce you to our team down here at Gilmore. We have two assistant house leaders, Matthew Nicholson and Mark Smart, and our house support officer, Ruth Costa. Today I'll be talking to you about our school-wide Positive Behaviour Strategy Initiative, or SWPBS. This framework brings together communities to develop positive, safe, supportive learning cultures and assists us to improve social, emotional, behavioural and academic outcomes for our students. SWPBS acknowledges positive behaviours of our students in school and in the wider community. From recognising students for their academic achievements with our Learners of the Week to our Student Ticket of Acknowledgement for Reward System, which recognises students in one or more of our three school values, respect, integrity and effort. 
These stars allow students to earn physical acknowledgement tickets, which students can bring to the house office to trade in for prizes when they reach a certain milestone. At CDSC, we value an environment where students have increased respectful and positive behaviours, increased time to focus on instruction in and out of the classroom, improved social emotional wellbeing, and positive and respectful relationships with staff and each other. Our Year 7 curriculum is designed to give students an opportunity to continue to develop the fundamental literacy and numeracy skills learned during primary school, as well as experience a wider range of subjects. All subjects at Year 7 and 8 are compulsory for all students before elective choices become available at Year 9. Our core subjects that all Year 7 students study for in the entire year are English, Maths, Humanities, Science and Physical Education and Health. Year 7 specialist subjects are studied for one semester each and include art, drama, digital technology and materials technology, also known as woodwork. These are then further expanded in Year 8 to incorporate food technology, LOAT, Japanese and Spanish, and visual communication and design, so that over the first two years of secondary school, students have a taste of all subjects which help to inform their elective selections in Year 9. I'm proud to be able to explain our targeted teaching program that we use at Year 7, 8 and 9 for English and Maths. We understand that students are all different. They have different levels of abilities and learn at different rates. In order to nurture the growth of every individual student, we tailor their learning programs in English and Maths to meet their academic needs. We do this by using a range of assessment information and strategies to fully understand their starting point, both in English and Maths. Students are then grouped according to their abilities so they can be explicitly taught to their point of need. When one unit of work is complete, the process of evaluation begins again for the next topic and students are then regrouped where necessary according to their needs. Additional bonuses for this method of teaching is that students are known as learners and as individuals. Teachers gain a deeper understanding of each student and strong relationships are formed between students and teachers. It also means that extra teachers, aids or resources can be provided to those students who require that the most. In addition to focusing on the support and development of students with additional learning needs, stronger students are able to be extended and challenged and provided opportunities to reach higher academic levels. It is really an enrichment program where every student grows. As well as academic growth, CDSC has a strong commitment and focus on developing students' personal, social and emotional growth. We are affiliated with the Resilience Project, which is an evidence-based program that provides practical wellbeing strategies to teach and develop resilience. Activities and lessons are delivered through our pastoral care program and are based around three core themes of gratitude, empathy and mindfulness. Career pathways and social development skills are also taught through the pastoral care program but in 2021 will be spread across the week rather than being delivered in one period. The Year 7 camp is another excellent way for students to develop socially and emotionally. In 2021, the camp is booked for Wednesday the 24th of February till Friday the 26th of February. It's held at Camp Aspie Downs PGL Adventure Camp in Kyneton and provides students with a range of outdoor challenges and team building activities on their 160 acre natural bushland setting. From experience and student feedback, even the most nervous student blossoms in this environment and builds lasting friendships. We have a bring your own device program where all students are required to bring their own laptop to computer to school each day for all of their classes. By having their own devices, students can access a wide range of digital media and online learning resources in class, opening their learning horizons and preparing them to be global citizens of the future. The college will grant access to the school's wireless network, internet, Office 365 software and printing. And we expect all students to adhere to our college ICT and acceptable use policies. 
financial assistance can be arranged through consultation with our business manager, Bev Boys, to assist with the acquisition of a device. Particularly during the last 12 months, the challenges faced by all of us as a result of COVID-19, we have recognised the important role that online learning has played and we're pleased to report that we have a healthy online learning culture at our college as a result. Okay, CDSC has had a no mobile phone policy at our school since 2019. And what we have seen since we implemented this policy is an increase in positive student interaction across the college and a dramatic decrease in negative issues associated with classroom behavior and social media influence. The policy means that students are not permitted to have their mobile phones out in the school grounds whether that be in the classroom or in the yard. Students are permitted to bring phones to and from school, and it is expected that they keep their phones locked in their locker throughout the course of a school day. 2021 sees the implementation of a new educational initiative for CDSC called Professional Learning Communities or PLCs. PLCs are a program shown to have huge educational benefits for student learning, and it requires our teachers to work closely together as focused teams in planning and assessing student learning. In order for the program to be successful, teachers require a block of time each week to dedicate to working in these teams. It is for this reason that we are implementing a change to our daily timetable for next year, where every Tuesday will finish at 1.50 p.m. for all students, allowing the afternoon meeting time for teachers to be extended. All other days will remain the same with our usual day commencing from 8.50 a.m. in the morning and finishing at 3.10 p.m. in the afternoon. This change also allows us to have a pastoral care check-in four days per week instead of one day per week, which we currently have, and also allows us to have an extended lunch on Thursday, which we think will be fantastic for house competitions and clubs. Many factors were taken into consideration when planning for this day structure, and we can assure you that this will bring positive outcomes for your students, and there is no reduction in face-to-face -face teaching time across the week. Hi there, my name is Jeanette Kalantzis and I am one of the assistant principals here at Carrum Down Secondary College. My area of focus is looking over the four house areas as well as the wellbeing area. We're so lucky here at Carrum Down Secondary College that we have two counsellors as well as a mental health practitioner. So if you feel like you need someone to talk to for extra support, you're welcome to book an appointment. We also have a program called Doctors in Schools, which means we have a doctor on site. So if you need to see a doctor for any reason, you're welcome to book in as well. So we have a wellbeing hub. So we've got lunchtime activities going. We've got breakfast clubs. So if you forget to eat breakfast or you need a little bit extra, you're welcome to go to wellbeing. We also do year seven check-ins. So we know going from primary school to high school is exciting, but sometimes it can be a little bit nerve wracking. In term one, we check in with every student to make sure that they're traveling okay and what supports they may need. We also have the Resilience Project, which focuses on mindfulness, gratitude and empathy. So each day students get an opportunity to reflect on their day, think about the future, but also be in the present moment, which is really fantastic. So we've got lots of things to offer and we can't wait to have you next year. Hello, I'm Bev Boys, Business Manager of the School and also the Parent Payment Supporter Officer. I get to talk to you about the more probably boring stuff, but the finance, which is the school fees, CSEF, Year 7 camp, book lists, and also a little bit towards the uniform. Cover school fees first. Uh, you should have received in the mail the details of the school fees by now. The main ones is the materials and services charge of $145, which is itemised. The Year 7 technology charge of $100, this is covering did, uh, wood technology, digital technology, which is robotics and 3D printing, and also covers art and drama scripts. Plus we've got the orientation camp. This is a cost of $350. If you're on CSEF, $225 if you're CSEF can go towards this camp. Still leaves a shortfall um, of $125. The other charges is there's a carnival's inter-school sports charge. This is a flat cost of $40. It covers all the carnivals for the year plus any inter-school sports that your student might wish to attend. We don't, we try to avoid constantly charging you little bits here, little bits there. We like to let you know up front. 
just what the fees are and then there's instrumental music cost of $300 this is purely optional if your students wish to go this way music covers woodwind voice piano brass um, strings and guitar and also percussion there will be options for students to try out for this next year Okay, CSEF, you've probably heard about it at the primary school. For secondary school, if you're on a healthcare card, the amount is $225. And you can use this to go towards the Year 7 camp or the carnival's cost. It doesn't fully cover it, um, but I am available, happy to meet with you. At the moment, it's pretty much via WebEx or over the phone, but we can discuss payment arrangements for your school fees. We can also provide assistance with textbooks if you're really struggling to purchase them and also for BYOD computers. I'm happy to discuss alternates there. Uh, so please don't stress over the finance. We're here to help you and to make it easy for your students to transition to Year 7 at the school. For the uniform with the students coming into Year 7, if you're on a CSEF package, in other words you have a healthcare card as part of the Year 7's enrolling, you also have the option to get complimentary through State Schools Relief a shirt, a pair of trousers or shorts, or a summer dress, and a pair of lace up shoes. We strongly recommend that you measure using the measuring sheet that was provided in the package in the yellow envelope that you measure your students because State Schools Relief sizes are a little bit out of whack, so even though it might look wrong, please go with that. With the book list, these are all ordered online for 2021. Uh, and if you complete your order online by the 18th of December, it will be free home delivery during the January. For second hand, and all the Year 7 textbooks are available second hand for next year, there's a Facebook page. It's not managed by the school, it's managed by a parent and runs very well and very active at the moment. It's Carum Down Secondary College textbook and uniform buy and sell so you might have the opportunity to pick up books there for stationery to save funds we strongly recommend that you go to office works kmart big w any of those stores particularly when they've got savings on just makes your money go that a little bit further uh, so if you've got any queries regarding finances computers the uniforms textbooks Please don't hesitate to contact me, just ring the school and I'm happy to talk to you over the phone or organise a WebEx meeting. Orientation Day is Tuesday the 8th of December 2020. All students are to meet at the gymnasium at 8.50 for a welcome assembly. At this stage they'll get their allocation of their house and their pastoral class. Um, and we ask all kids to bring along a drink bottle, a snack, some lunch, just a pen and a notebook for any notes they might want to take down and wear your primary school uniform and your runners. So the rest of the day, we basically follow our, what will be a scheduled timetable, and they'll do activities, they'll get to meet some of the year seven teachers, and they'll get to meet some other kids from other schools. Um, after lunch, uh, which we will offer some peer support for our kids at lunchtime, so they can actually have a look around the school and meet some other kids that actually already attend the college. Period five, um, we'll just have a bit of a summary session and we'll meet back in the gym to be dismissed at 3 p.m. What does day one of year seven look like? You say farewell to family and guardians, and then we begin the day with a welcome assembly in the gym. Period one and two, there's an induction with your pastoral care class, and you'll get to meet some of your teachers, get your lockers, your locks, your diary, and your timetable. After recess, we have periods three and four, when you get to meet some of your subject teachers and do a tour of the school and learn about some of the key things that you need to know in year seven, compass, reading your timetable and different class activities. After lunch, you return to your pastoral class again and it's a chance to actually ask some questions and just reflect on the day and find out if there's anything else you need to know. We recommend that you don't bring all your books on the first day because there's a lot to carry around. So maybe just a pen, paper, don't forget your drink bottle and of course your lunch. Um, after that, students will be dismissed from class. Thank you for watching our presentation. We look forward to partnering with you and your family as you join our CDSE community for the start of your secondary education. Please feel free to contact us if you have any further questions. We look forward to seeing you in 2021.